Hi guys, welcome to Chattel, Marty Winners here. Today I'm going to launch straight into this one. Today on Facebook, there's been a lot of talk about this chair. This is the Audi Ultralight Camp Chair. They sell for $24.99 here in Australia in 2022. They sell out very quick. Audi puts them out once a year in their special buyers program with a lot of other camping gear and it seems to be fairly popular with adventure bike riders. It seems to be, look like a knockoff of the Helinox chair. Would not be as good quality, but for the price, it seems pretty good. All right, the bag itself, it's a nice little compact bag, good for dropping into your pannier or tying it onto your, your um, luggage system. Has these little molly loops underneath so you can run your straps through it and also good size handle either end. The zip itself is not high quality. You wouldn't expect it for this sort of price. You'd have to watch that on the dusty trails, muddy trails and stuff like that that you don't get dirt in and you know end up ruining the, the um, track itself. Opening it up, first thing I see here is the instructions. We don't need those. Next thing is the cover. And then we've got the actual chair frame itself, chair frame. Here it is. Looks like a, an octopus that's um, had a hard night. It's all held together by these sort of bungee straps. They go together quite easy. Look at that. You can hear some of them starting to click together by themselves. You sort of flick it around. And there we have it put together. It's a fairly solid frame. That's about, or well, just under two centimetres thick, that crossbar there. And each of the legs here in the uprights are probably oh, around about a centimetre thick. And they seem fairly strong. I'm putting a fair bit of force on that. The plastic used in it, I would assume is UV stabilised, like most things nowadays. Um, that looks to be very similar to the Helinox system. So, all right, let's put this together. Flip it over. Tall legs up top, we'll just call them uprights. <clears throat> Let's have a look at this. So label to the top, got these little tabs here, inserts, slide the poles into that. That's the top one, the bottom one, very similar, except it's got these little tabs you can pull out to help you to drag it over the posts themselves. So let's put it together. See it's fairly straightforward. Doesn't take a lot to get it in there. You now it'll probably look like I'm struggling, but no, it's still easy. There you go, I didn't even need to use those tabs to pull it together. And there's the chair itself. So, all right. It's, it seems to be fairly good material. A um, bit of um, this mesh here, which give you good ventilation. But like all things, Proof is in sitting on it, testing it out. So let's get rid of the milk crate and put this down. Rightio. Perfect, look at that, straight into it. It is a quite solid little chair. Um, I'm pretty happy with it so far and just playing around with it. Like I find some of these chairs that if you lean forward, easy to fall out of, lean back, easy to fall out of. You know, you're probably like me, you go camping and you set the fire up, have a beer and stuff like that, a meal going on, and eventually you just want to sit back and watch the fire or talk to your mates and that. This chair allows you to lean back and it is quite comfortable and quite stable. So it's really good. I've tested quite a few of these chairs and what I have found in when testing them at shops and stuff like that, and I suggest you do this if you do go to a shop to have a look at them, is pull them out of the package, put them on the ground, and practice getting in and out of the chair. So some of the chairs were quite low. This is adequate. Put your knees in a great position for getting up and down. Um, you don't have to really push from the sides or anything like that to get out of the chair. So as easy as that. So I'm just checking, leave there, I didn't push that fully in. So I wouldn't want to fall over there, would we? Um, so yeah, getting back into it, no problem at all. It's very stable. Unlike this one here, this is a Katmandu, Katmandu chair. Very similar, but you see how the legs on this sort of pyramid design, not stable at all. If you lean forward or back on this one, it feels like you're gonna fall over. So yeah, not a big fan of that. This one seems to have a good um, foundation on it. 
So thumbs up as far as the design goes for sitting in the thing. Um, yeah, quite strong. So all in all, this Audi chair is quite good. It's worth $24.99, whatever you might pay in your country. It is at the cheaper end of the scale of camp chairs. It's fairly light. It's comparable to a lot in the range out there. Um, would I suggest buying it? Yeah, absolutely. Would I prefer Helinox? Most likely. I don't have a Helinox, so I can't compare it. Maybe you can comment on it by putting some information down below on the Helinox and the like. Anyway, cheers. I've got to go. Have a great night, have a great day, whatever it might be, wherever you are in the world.